I'm good, thank you, Mark. Congratulations on your new show, and I've been advised not to ruin it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing... But don't you worry, Jed, I've been doing that most of the time, like, in the three hours that I've been here, so don't worry about that, mate. Uh, t- t- Jed, Jed, lovely to have you on, mate. And also, I-, I think it's really important that we get this message across. We-, we need people to come and watch more non-league football, don't we? I think so. I think with communities... I think when you look around at families, you look at the kids, where do they go play football mm. with, uh, if there's no community clubs? Because the amount of uh, pro clubs that are hoovering up more and more academy kids, yeah, uh, and, and from the age of eight up, and then they're, uh, when they get to like 16, 17, and then they release them, that there ain't a lot of uh, places for the kids to go anymore. I completely agree. Right. And, uh- I, 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 and it's such a shame because you're building these kids up. They go to like these academies and stuff, and you know we we know the the percentage. Like about two percent, isn't it? Kids like make like professional the football. Well, yeah, well, that's what I mean. I was I think I was being generous with two percent. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you know Do you know what I mean? Like it's 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 about fun first and foremost, isn't it? And at that age, it's about it's about working with teams. Not not like yourself. There, the, you're the next step up. But getting to that grassroots. A game, enjoying your football, going on to teams like yourself in the non-league and enjoying it? It is, but it's also about and revenue streams allow you to do that. And yeah. Obviously, I've, I've been on the board of Premier League Rugby. I've been at Division 1 uh, football league clubs. I've owned them. And you get funding. And what always yeah. amazes me is when you go to Step 3 down, which is the true grass route, the way down to Step 7, and Step 7 aren't even allowed to play in the FA Cup, by the way, which is the Grassroots Cup of England. It's ridiculous. You get no funding, and then you're asked to support the community, grow it, and, and you're relying on sponsors, local people with their kids to look at their kids, get away from the telly, bring your kids down and watch some football, and get them involved in some sport. And when you talk about well-being and all the buzzwords that have come out in the last decade, yeah. what is DCMS Council supporting them? What are they actually doing to get funding into what they're talking about, grassroots football? And, and that's a big problem. Mm. So oh, five years ago, I come into Stratford and dealt with it. We've got a sniffer who does, there's over 200 kids on a Saturday morning. We've got a waiting list of over 200 kids. Wow, that's uh, brilliant. There's 87 teams now. I mean, I was down there at half nine this morning watching half a dozen of the Stratford teams. My little boy plays in one of them. Yeah. They weren't there five years ago, but that funding's coming from sponsors, local community people giving up their time, volunteering, and buying into the program. And five years ago, we had probably 20 people wearing Stratford kits, and Mm. today there's over 1,200 people that are wearing a Stratford Town football kit. Top. This is all funded by the generosity of people within the club, and, and obviously me topping up, supporting it. But it's a pleasure. I enjoy it more than I do the league clubs. It, yes. You still get the same stick for when when they win, <laughs> yeah. the manager's great. When they lose, it's your fault for starting the left back. Mate, that's that's football in a nutshell, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't matter which level it is. It's wonderful. <laughs> uh, but, but that's what I mean. fun. Yeah, well, that's it. That, like, mate, if, if you're a chairman of, you know, for Stratford... You, you're going to have to put in the hard yards, and you really, really have, and that's testament to yourself. And and also, it's 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 amazing that you've got so many kids involved. How many teams did you say that you got? Eighty-seven. I'm sorry, eighty-seven. Yeah, and I'd like to thank the council, Sporting and DCMF for supporting me. It's very nice. Um, the cheque must be in the post, by the way. But it's, <laughs> thank you for supporting me. Uh, that's all right. Any, anyway, we can get you know. <laughs> Anyway, it doesn't matter. Bounce all the way here, wouldn't it? And bounce all the way, probably. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. So, Stratford Town, are you playing today? Who you got? Bedford Town. Yeah. I'm a massive Luton Town fan, as most people know. So, Bedford's just outside Luton. I have a lot of friends down there, and we'll be friends till kickoff. Yes. Until (laughs) 10 to 5. We won't be talking, and then afterwards we'll have a beer. So, yeah, it's great. It's lovely. I mean, local football is tremendous. And one thing I picked up on what you said there was the local clubs, we actually support each other. So, like, I had Racing Club Warwick in the other day and I was helping them with structure. And then we'll help rugby. We'll help Pershaw over in Worcestershire with loan players that are coming through our academy now and starting to make, make some shakes in local football. So the kids are actually coming into the club. And they actually are going out and earning 20 quid, 50 quid, 
playing local football. If, if these programmes weren't here, if our clubs weren't here to support each other, who would actually support us? And that's why I'm over the moon that you're running a show like this where everyone gets an opportunity to talk about it. I think it's really, really important because, you know, we were saying yeah. earlier, we, we had uh, Nishin um, and he was talking about, we could find the next Jude Bellingham. We could, uh, you know, find the next Paul Scholes. We could find all these incredible players that could slip by the wayside because things what you're the stuff that you're doing doesn't happen yeah. so mate like I, i'm I, i'm in awe of what you've done in such a short space of time i really really am no i appreciate it. it's not me it's it's everyone the community have got to take a lot of uh credit for getting behind it and and supporting us and the amount of volunteers honestly i, I can't thank them enough uh, they done our put a shift in to help the whole club and it's a lovely little club it's a real family community club we give free tickets to all our kids that are playing. I think we did 15,000 tickets for the schools of Warwickshire. Wow. We give all Blue Line police, ambulances, firemen free tickets because I appreciate they work uh, late shifts and all kinds of hours. I know the police can't take tickets because they might get arrested for having taken a backhand up, but <laughs> I'm sure they'll get around that. <laughs> well, you know what? They're only, do doing, that. they're only doing that. Jed, because of someone at the helm who's willing to put themselves forward, and and you're doing that, mate. So you you got to be proud of yourself. What what you've achieved? Uh, well, I'm not. We've not achieved anything yet, but we're getting there. Uh, yeah. I think the biggest achievement clubs like us at Leamington Racing Club and that can do is to bang it. There's some people like you who can bang these doors at councils and DCMS say, listen, what are you actually doing for grassroots football? They get millions of Sky TV. What about grassroots football? It's what it's all about, and we'll continue. We'll continue to keep banging that drum, mate, until somebody listens, and hopefully they will because of the the passionate way that you embody your club, and uh, it's lovely to see and it's lovely to hear, Jed. Um, well, great, great, great to speak to you. Oh, you mate, get a pie and a pie, don't you? A pie and a pie. A pie. A pie. That's That's what it's all about. Hey, you know what? Like that. That's that for me is what it's all about. I love. Yes. Love a pie and occasionally a pint, but you know, you know everything in, in you know in moderation. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I'm more, I'm more of course, pies just than pints. One at a time. <laughs> well, I've only got two hands, Jed. To be fair, so. <laughs> I'll get you a straw. Oh, God. well, I would love, I would love to come to one of the games because I just think it's really well, important to get that that message across. And you're doing a great job, Jed. Lovely to speak Appreciate to you, mate. That. And and hopefully we'll get you on a little bit more. All right, all the best. Have a lovely weekend. And everyone, get down to the Bar of the Army. Absolutely. Come and have a pie and a pipe. 